Hello everyone, your girl Tay here and I'm bringing you another Let's Talk Wild podcast episode. Today is February 15, 2024 and this is episode 58, The Animal Guide to Getting a Second Date. Yesterday was Valentine's Day and some of us celebrated love with gifts, chocolates and outings with those we love. For others, you might have been stood up or didn't secure the second date. Don't feel bad because the animals and I are here to help. For this week's episode, I'll give some animal-inspired tips to help with your dating life. But before we get into that, make sure you follow and subscribe to the podcast on all podcasting and social media platforms. You could support the pod by becoming a subscription member. You could go to my podcast website on Buzzsprout to sign up. I'll have the link in the description box. Also, hit to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and check out the videos over there. Once you're done listening over here, you guys already know the drill. Now, let's talk. Why? I hope everyone had a great Valentine's Day, also known as Love Day, whatever you want to call it. I hope your day was filled with love. It's always been one of my favorite holidays. I don't care if it's made up to get people to spend money on the people they love. I love it, pun intended. (laughs) I think it's because of the guys that I used to date back in the day. They always made it a big deal. And I was always spoiled. I still am to this day. And I love that for me. And if you're spoiled, I love that for you. (laughs) Now, there have been guys that didn't get a second date with me and I know they really wanted to but they just weren't making the cut but I hope that isn't the case with you all hopefully your day was filled with love you got gifts and chocolates and you got laid wink wink (laughs) if you didn't so sorry so sorry try again another day well maybe after the animals and I give you some tips to help get the second date Now, these tips are for men, but the women can enjoy them too. I promise we'll have a good time. So get those chocolates before they get stale and eat them while you listen to these tips that could save your love life or, you know, lack thereof. You don't have a love life, clearly. But don't don't fret. We got you. Me and the animals, we're going to hook you up today, okay? So let's get into it. Let's talk wild. For the most part, the first thing we notice about a person is their appearance, their looks, their hair, how they're dressed, and their body build and physique. Let's talk about the face first. You have to be a nice looking person to that person. You need to make sure your face is washed and moisturized unless you've been uh, raging all weekend or you just got off work. There shouldn't be any reason why at least those things, you know, aren't done. Teeth need to be brushed. If you don't have the perfect teeth, Please whiten them at least, okay? You're not a crocodile, an alligator, or a shark. They shed their teeth and grow new ones. Once your adult teeth are messed up, you're done, okay? Unless you go to the dentist and get some braces, fake teeth, or veneers. Now, sometimes we don't want those veneers smiling all in our faces. Sometimes we want a person with all of their real teeth that been, uh, you know, taken care of, been cared for. I don't want you smiling, cheesing, grinning, ee, all in my face with those them veneers, them chitlets. Okay, looking like Mr. Wilson from Dennis the Menace, okay? Remember from the movie Dennis the Menace, he put them daggle, he put them chicklets in there, honey. I was crying. <laughs> now you got chiclet teeth, okay? Or you getting uh, uh, these buck teeth. Like you a daggone horse or something. Like, absolutely not. Some of us really appreciate people with real teeth, their own teeth, that, you know, they've been taken care of. They've been going to the dentist. They've been flossing. They've been brushing. So, yeah, okay. Some of us don't want that stuff. But, yeah, make sure the teeth are at least whitened if you don't have perfect teeth, okay? For facial features and facial hair, you must know what facial hairstyle works well with your features and bone structure. The mandrel is the largest old world monkey that lives in the rainforest of West Central Africa. These primates have beautiful colored faces with some nice hair to match. I love their bone structure and with all of the colors, it just works very well for them. Now the greatest of all time, the goat. They come with great beards or goatees. Pun intended, for real, for real, because the name goatee comes from the fact that it resembles a goat's chin hair. Their hair comes in all types of styles, but I have never seen a goat with a bad beard or goatee. I haven't. I just haven't. That's why they are the goats. (laughs) Pun intended again. (laughs) They are the goats of the animal beard community. 
Let's get our hands, claws, and paws into some locks, some hair. Mm -hmm. All types of hairstyles are beautiful. But once again, you must be self-aware and know what works for you. You can't want the mane of a lion, but you don't want to take care of it. See, the lion is going to lick and claw that hair right. Throwing some hair gel on yours may not work out the way you think. Slicked on top and matted on the bottom. Absolutely not. <laughs> Now, for those who prefer low cuts, the Atlantic Puffin is a great inspiration. It gives very much they left the barbershop happy because their lines are crisp. The barber lined them up really well. The barber did leave, you know, some of the uh, white chalk or, you know, what is it? The white makeup pencil that they use around the hairlines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like they left a little bit of that. But nonetheless, it's looking good. And I have a lot of hair, so I don't need my man to have a bunch of hair too i hate it absolutely not we can't be both goldilocks up in here absolutely not mm -mm. now you could get the puffing low cut right or whatever that'll be fine or i got another bird for you honey we we featuring the birds today the birds is coming through for love day to help y'all with y'all tips okay another bird is the kingfisher they have like you know, feathers, they're on top of their heads and their crest. And it looks like waves. Another pun. <laughs> Another pun. Yes, I'm with the puns today, y'all. Because kingfishers hunt by diving into water. It just goes well with them. Them diving in the water. You know, the waves. You know, they got the little wavy uh, feather design, honey. You know, so it's no wonder their hair gives that. You know, waves on swim. So they hate on him, in the words of rapper Nicki Minaj, okay? Don't hate on the kingfishers with the waves swimming, okay? Period. I love it. <laughs> As far as fashion, you have to have at least a little bit of, you know, fashion sense. If you're going for a certain look, ensure everything is cohesive. Now, some guys, they aren't into, you know, the flashiness of everything. They're, they're just not flashy guys, and I respect it. Now, others like to, you know, throw it all out there, be flashy, like the peacocks that show off their feathers to attract peahens to mate. But be careful because sometimes being too flashy will turn a woman off. You got all your designer on. You got about five chains around your neck. And you keep talking about money and materialistic things. That's the worst. That is the worst. When you're trying to get to know someone and all they can talk about is what they, you know, going to buy and blah, 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 blah. It may work for materialistic or high maintenance women. But remember, it doesn't work or impress all women. Some women like their partners to be slim, while others like beefcakes. <laughs> the Jersey Shore crew, y'all know the Jersey Shore crew, Snooky, J. Wow, Mike, the situation, y'all know them, y'all know them. Now, they call them gorilla juice heads. They are basically big, muscular men who definitely spend a lot of time in the gym. Or, you know, they might use steroids, allegedly. Maybe. I don't know. Now, the rainforest is the gorilla's gym. Walking, running, and climbing help with their bulk. Now, slim guys can have some bulk and can be muscular, too, like the kangaroos. You have to, you know, look at their bodies when they're working out in a gym. I, I, I enjoy just watching the workout plan. Let me see you do your workout, King. Now, ladies, like I said, have you ever seen a juice head and a slim fit guy flex in a gym? I highly recommend it. The views are very intriguing. <laughs> I also recommend and would love for you to subscribe to Let's Talk Wild on YouTube and on all social media and podcasting platforms. You can also support the pod by signing up and becoming a member. You could go to my podcast website on Buzzsprout to sign up. I'll have the link in the description box. Now, let's crawl back into the show. Cue the animals. <laughs> You must smell good. It's just something about a man with a nice scent or cologne that can really make a woman have butterflies and have a nice tingling sensation in the right area, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. I don't want you getting that cheap cologne or using aftershave as a scent. No smells that smell like urine. You're not a lobster. Now, both male and female lobsters spray urine from their faces so they can check out each other's chemical pheromones before deciding if they want to mate with each other. That's horrible. You're spraying urine 
from your face because that's where the glands are trying to look for love. That's a daggone shame. Sorry to the lobsters. But like I said, <laughs> no cologne that smells like piss. And sometimes you don't need to spray anything because some men just have a wonderful natural BO, a natural body odor. Especially if they eat clean, don't smoke or drink. They take their vitamins and they work out. So, you know, if, if someone special asks what you want for Valentine's Day, tell them cologne. They'll get you what they love. And if you like it, it's a win-win for both. You know, everybody get a tingling sensation. <laughs> so you're smelling good and you got your appearance right. Now it's time for the conversation. Let the conversation flow. Make sure you engage and listen carefully because women like to give you a pop quiz now and again to make sure you're listening. So don't fail the listening test and don't be too loud and over talking her like you're some kind of howler monkey. They howl really loud, hence their name, to attract the ladies. Now, if the circumstances don't call for you to yell like you're not at a concert don't do it and don't be all up in her ear either with some nonsense like a hissing snake like you're the yin yang twins talking about give me a little shorty let me whisper in your ear and tell you some things that you like to hear we don't want to hear all that all oh, hissing all up in our ear like a snake especially if you don't even have the swag to do that she won't tingle and your chances of a second date will dwindle okay bars ha 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 now, some of you guys don't say much, but just enough. So make sure you're gauging your tone and the conversation because, you know, some guys don't say much. They are more of, you know, uh, actions speak louder than words. So they, they don't be talking much, which is fine. You know, that's that's cool. Now, don't push her to do something she really doesn't want to do. Right. When you're out on a date or, um, you know, you're picking something for you guys to do an activity. And that's why it's always key to know the things that uh, she's interested in. Loosen up and have fun. Don't be stiff and nervous. If you like to dance, show off your moves. Now, not too much. But just enough to have her smiling and having a good time. Make sure you pull her close and dance with her like you're a pair of swaying seahorses during their mating dance. Or if she's like a honeybee and wants to throw it back, twerking it all, honey, then you follow her lead. <laughs> Now, like I said, actions do speak louder than words. So ultimately, you have to not just talk about it, but be about it too. be consistent, put forth the effort and show you can build the foundation of the relationship like birds that build a nest together or like beavers. They build their lodges and settle down, forming a monogamous relationship where they build Pun intended. Y'all, there's so many puns today. <laughs> you guys let me know how many y'all done caught today. But yeah, they form these monogamous relationships where they build their lives together. So I hope that these tips that the animals and I have given you today have, uh, you know, inspired you and will help you uh, look for love. And sometimes you won't make the cut and that's okay. But there is someone made in this world for you. So don't give up on love. You can find it in the most random places and different stages of your life. Just enjoy life. Enjoy the ride and never stop loving. Happy day after Valentine's Day. <laughs> Leave a comment and let me know how you feel about today's topic. The animal guide to getting a second date. Leave a comment, follow, and subscribe to the podcast on all podcasting and social media platforms. Don't forget that you can now support the podcast by joining the monthly membership subscription. You can go to my podcast website on Buzzsprout to sign up. I'll have the link in the description box. Now, love yourself, one another, your pets, and the animals. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.